The limit comparison test gives an alternative to the regular or ordinary comparison test for series. In the previous video, we looked at the series the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 3 to the n over 5 to the n plus n squared. And we used the ordinary comparison test and we compared to the series the sum of 3 to the n over 5 to the n. This worked out pretty nicely because the terms here are less than the terms here and this series converges. Being less than a convergent series ensures convergence. But if we change the problem very slightly and look instead at the sum of 3 to the n over 5 to the n minus n squared, look how things start to go wrong. If we now try to compare to the same series, then we get the inequality 5 to the n minus n squared is less than or equal to 5 to the n, and therefore 3 to the n over 5 to the n minus n squared is greater than or equal to 3 to the n over 5 to the n, since dividing by a smaller number gives a larger fraction. But this inequality unfortunately is not useful to us. Being greater than a convergent series doesn't guarantee convergence or divergence. So we can't conclude anything based on this inequality. The limit comparison test gives us one way around this. The limit comparison test says the following. Suppose that sum of a n and the sum of b n are series with positive terms. If the limit as n goes to infinity of the ratio of a n over b n is a number l, where l is a finite number that's bigger than zero, then either both series converge or both diverge. So they have the same convergence status. Let's try the limit comparison test on the problem we were just working on. We still want to compare to the same series, 3 to the n over 5 to the n, but this time we're going to try a limit comparison. So we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity of the ratio of terms, 3 to the n over 5 to the n divided by 3 to the n over 5 to the n minus n squared. It doesn't actually matter which term goes on the top and which goes on the bottom. We could instead take the ratio the other way. Whatever limit we get when we do the ratio this way will just be the reciprocal of the limit we get when we do the ratio this way. So if this ratio is a finite number that's bigger than zero, this ratio, its reciprocal, will also be a finite number that's bigger than zero. So I'll just stick with the first computation. Let me simplify by flipping and multiplying. I can cancel my 3 to the n's. And now I can actually rewrite this as the limit of 1 minus n squared over 5 to the n. By breaking up my limit, this is the same as 1 minus the limit of n squared over 5 to the n. And this second limit is an infinity over infinity form. So using L'Hopital's rule, carry the 1 over, I get to get the limit of what I get when I take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. I've still got an infinity over infinity in determinant form, so I'll use L'Hopital's rule again. The derivative of 2n is 2, and the derivative of the denominator is ln5 times ln5 times 5 to the n. Now the numerator is fixed at 2, while the denominator goes to infinity as n goes to infinity. Therefore, this fraction goes to 0 and my final limit is 1. Since 1 is bigger than 0 and it's finite, it's less than infinity, the limit comparison test tells me that my original series and my comparison series either both converge or both diverge but my comparison series is a geometric series with ratio 3 fifths. So it definitely converges. 
Therefore, by the limit comparison test, our given series also converges. That's the limit comparison theorem in action. The limit comparison test tells us that for two series with positive terms, if the limit of the ratio of the terms is some number which is bigger than zero and less than infinity, then the two series have the same convergence status. That is, they either both converge or both diverge. The limit comparison test is especially handy when the ordinary comparison test doesn't seem to work. When we know what we want to compare to, but we can't get the inequality to go the right direction.